All right. Today is September 17th, Saturday. Tiger Jr. is here playing with Pastor Ray Sutherland. This is Charles T. Myers. This is just a practice round. We haven't seen Pastor Ray in about six months. Tiger Jr. has got a new job and worked for about a month. He hasn't played any golf in about three months. Now we got to get him ready because the U.S. Presidential Cup is coming to Charlotte next week. 22nd to the 25th, that's Pastor Ray. And I have put on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter the war between the PJ Tour and Live Golf is only going to be won when, the, when one of the tour finds the next Tiger Woods. Whoever finds the next Tiger Woods first will win the war between the PJ Tour and Live, Live Golf. And Tiger Jr. is Tiger Woods' replacement. He was born a replacement. He's been playing since he's been two years old. Now, in order to say the PGA Tour, I need BJ Singh on the senior tour. I have Vaughn who lives in Gastonia, which is 22 miles from Charlotte, North Carolina, where we live, to, to train him. All right, that's what happens when you don't play every week. You can miscalculate. Tiger Woods will win one more major. It'll be number 16. That'll be his last. He'll break Sam Steed's record, just like I put on my Twitter account in 2015. He'll break Sam Steed's record, and he'll win two more majors. So I'm halfway right. He was at 14, now he's at 15. So got one more to go. That's probably all his body can hold up and take. He'll still be the greatest of all time, because Jack Nicholas, Jack Nicholas never had to play everybody. He only had to play some white dudes. He had to play gets in the black dudes. So he might be the great white hope for white folks, but uh, for everybody, it's Tiger Woods. He gets to play against everybody in all races, no discriminations. I and Des and the wife and the daughter, they are in a spectator cart, following her brother and, and her son around. 